What's up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to cover this Electro Dragon with clones again. Giving you guys four more triples to look at in Legends League. Up at the 5400 trophy range this army is extremely strong. Especially for certain bases that we have been seeing to try to counter uh, Super Dragons and the Flame Flingers. We're seeing a lot more of the anti 2 star bases again. And just bases that these dragons just absolutely smash. Uh, kind of like a base like this where you got the town hall on the one side and it's a box base. Uh, and the E-dragons could just come from the opposite side to just absolutely destroy this base. Alright, on this first base we have this box style base with the uh, town hall kind of isolated over here. Chose not to use a flame flinger on this one. I just wanted to see if we could make this work with the blimp. Uh, mainly because I'm using clones, obviously, so it's really hard to use a flame flinger uh, when we're trying to clone these uh, balloons coming out of the blimp. So we went ahead and just attacked from one of the sides. And we're going to push up through with the Electro Dragons and then use the clones on the Town Hall and pick up the single uh, Inferno and a couple other defenses along the way as well. And that pretty easily on there, and then we end up picking up a lot of value with the clones. And the E-Dragons, you can see them just going through the middle. Already destroyed the Lava Hound like it was nothing. And they're just going to pick up some huge chain value together. Uh, later on in the attack, when you don't have any rages, if you get two of them locked on uh, to one defense, they're going to be able to pick up just a ton of value um, with, these ch with the chain effect. Uh, like over here, we're going to get locked on to this uh, bomb tower together, and then we got locked on to this scatter shot together. And you can see we're just destroying defenses uh, very quickly. You get two of them locked on to certain ones, and they don't last very long. Um, and then obviously it's always nice when you get one that goes off on its own and helps basically clean up these bases for you. But, yeah, it, even on bases like this, it just these E-Dragons are just so strong. It's crazy. Uh, that level 5 is... was uh, very, very beneficial to Electro Dragons. And obviously, Air is just so strong right now. Electro Dragons are almost even forgotten about because the Super Dragons. All right, on this next base, we have uh, a box-style base with the Town Hall down here at the corner, uh, pretty exposed. Again, we're not going to use a Flame Flinger on this. Just because we're using clones, I don't like. I don't, I don't want to use a Flame Flinger when I'm using clones. So we're going to get the king and the queen going um, at about 11 and 12 and push into this Eagle Artillery Compartment. Also put the RC down just to give support for the Barbarian King fighting off the other Barbarian King. And then we've got the Electro Dragons right down the middle. We've got Baby Dragon, Dragon Rider on the other side to attempt to funnel these guys back in, but that uh, sometimes is a tall task. And then we get the perfect clone placement, take that to Tom Hall, and we get all these extra balloons that we... We saved basically because of the tornado trap. We had an initial uh, little group get uh, knocked from the sweeper, and they actually picked up the town hall. And then the tornado trap actually saved the rest of them for us and allowed them to stay alive. Still got the king ability and the queen ability going into this back half of the attack uh, with 30% left to go. And we're going to king ability up through uh, this area with the single target inferno gonna actually freeze that down to try to get this single target inferno I don't think I end up getting it because the single locks back onto my king instead of the barbarians which is a little frustrating but then they all got destroyed from the bomb tower and the queen of course didn't follow him in there so now the queen's gonna uh, not destroy the single target inferno right away which is a little frustrating so we're gonna have to pop her ability and she's gonna end up fighting a wall to get up there to the single target compartment but gets targeted by the single uh, so she's not going to end, end up getting that down but we got a couple of electro dragons and we got the baby dragon and that single is not that healthy so we're going to be able to finish this one off because these both these electro dragons were pretty healthy going into this back after the attack and they're going to easily 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 be able to finish this off As you can see. Yeah, if you get a couple full, fully uh, healthed up uh, Electro Dragons towards the end of the attack, uh, they're going to definitely finish off these bases for triples. 
All right, on this next one, we have another box style. This is a little bit of a diamond. Um, and you can see we got uh, single target infernal compartments with a multi next to the four expos, double sweeper, and queen and king up there as well uh, with the CC. So we're gonna push the king and queen uh, down from the six o'clock area. Electric Dragon's right down the middle. Uh, Baby Dragon, Dragon Rider on the other side. And we're just going to get this uh, blimp up here on top of the Town Hall with the clones. And be able to pick up the value we need. You can see one of our clones didn't pop till after the Town Hall was already down. We always like enjoy that. Because uh, we're just going to pick up some extra value. You can see we got an Expo and our multiple Expos. The Sweeper and an Air Defense over there. And we picked up a Bomb Tower as well. And we still have all four heroes alive going in uh, with only 10% of the base left. And we still got the Dragon Rider and two Dragon Riders, or two Electro Dragons right, alive as well. Uh, so we're just going to easily be able to finish off the space. Especially with the Queen ability. I told you guys in Clone Hydra so many times, you've saved this Queen ability. If you could somehow save it to the end of the attack, uh, even if you have 90%, you know, 10% of the base left. That queen's going to be able to finish off that base for you so easily. Alright, on this fourth base that we're going to hit, uh, we have a diamond style base. This one had uh, two ground bows, uh, all singles, which can be a problem for uh, Electro Dragons, to be honest. Uh, we end up losing our Dragon Rider pretty quickly. Uh, I didn't use a freeze over there like I should have and save the Dragon Rider so that was unfortunate but we're gonna push into this base uh, pretty easily get the clone value that we need and you can see all the extra clones that we got going they're gonna take out both these Expos as well um, help finish off that uh, Eagle Artillery able to save our RC ability until we get up to that scatter shot. Now we're going to have to use our queen ability here, but that's the last single that we have to worry about. Uh, so we're going to be able to take that down. It's just one shot here. Um, hopefully our electro dragon. Um, it, the burst won't, but that one chain off the mortar uh, will take that out pretty easily. Ended up having to use our queen ability, so that was unfortunate. Uh, just so that we could save some health. I kind of just forced it. Um, so the only thing we really have to worry about is this king back here. Uh, all these other defenses, you can see, not a max Town Hall 14 by any means. Uh, I have been seeing that a lot more in uh, Legends League is just not max Town Hall 14s. So we'll enjoy that while we can because that's not going to be a uh, forever thing. And the Grand Warden and the Owl are actually going to finish off this base for us. Owl's going to get some chains, finish off that uh, Wizard Tower. And then we just got to finish these three storages, and it's a, uh, a triple from there. I'll put in some work on this attack. Staying alive the entire time for us with the Grand Warden. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Had another sweet video for you guys today showing you guys this Electro Dragon with the clones again. Just how strong this attack can actually be in Legends League. I really like the spam attack. It's super, super easy to use as well to pick up triples in Legends. And you can also use it in War if you have uh, compact bases where you can easily, you know that you can pick up a lot of chain value with these Electro Dragons. If you guys missed yesterday's video, we were covering the number one uh farming strategy for gaining dark elixir at town hall nine if you guys like today's video smash that like button for me if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming we'll catch you next time